Moving on to other stories now, Washington charged a North Korean hacker for allegedly playing a key role in the cyber attacks on Sony Pictures and other entities carried out since the year 2014. Shortly after, the Treasury Department slapped sanctions on that individual. For details, let's turn to our Kan young -woo. The U.S. Department of Justice has charged 34-year-old North Korean programmer Park jin -yuk with conspiracy to conduct a number of cyber attacks and computer intrusions. Members of the conspiracy are responsible for some of the most damaging and most well-known cyber intrusions in history, including the cyber attack targeting Sony Pictures, the cyber heist of Bangladesh Bank, and creating the WannaCry ransomware. The U.S. Department of the Treasury also announced sanctions on Park and his agency, saying that the 34-year-old worked on behalf of the North Korean government as an employee of the Joseon Expo joint venture. The Treasury added that all property and interests of both Joseon Expo and Park within the U.S. or in the position of U.S. citizens must be frozen. U.S. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin said the United States will not allow North Korea to undermine global cybersecurity to advance its interests and generate illicit revenues in violation of U.S. sanctions. South Korea's foreign ministry said Friday that these actions show the United States' stance that talking with North Korea and keeping pressure on the regime must go hand in hand to achieve complete denuclearization on the Korean Peninsula. Back in 2014, the FBI accused North Korean hackers of a major cyber intrusion into Sony Pictures, which resulted in internal documents being leaked and data being destroyed. The attacks happened after the regime sent a letter to the UN demanding that Sony didn't release the movie The Interview, which portrayed the US-backed assassination of a character made to look like North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Kan Young-woo, Arirang News.